Um, I'm just curious, what's the what, what are the conversations like after a game like that, Pablo, in, in the locker room? Um, I mean, obviously disappointed. Uh, you know, I think you have a, a, a really good start to the game, uh, a, a very good first half. And, you know, I think our, 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 our biggest issue is not being able to put the ball in the back of net. And you can only defend for so long without capitalizing on those moments because those moments change games. And, uh, you know, they got a fortuitous goal on, on, on their corner. And I think the disappointing part is how the mood and the mindset um, kind of left us, right? And then you can see two, three, and four. And, you know, that's what we talked about is, is that strong teams look at that first goal as an obstacle. They don't look at it like the end of the world, right? And, and again, I think we've been putting a lot of pressure on ourselves as, as a collective defense by not capitalizing on opportunities. And if you don't score goals, you don't win games. Um, what, uh, what is it about this St. Louis team, in your opinion, that makes them so dangerous? I mean, his, historic start of the season with, with five, five wins in a row, that doesn't happen often, if at all. So what, what, what's, what are they doing that's working? Uh, that, that's a good question. I, I think there's so many variables that go into getting results. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, they, they fight really hard for each other. Um, and, and, they, and they battle, and, you know, they, they put teams under pressure going long, and, and they pick up second balls, and, and they just don't stop, you know. And I think um, we did a great job of that in the first half of really neutralizing what they do and, and really taking advantage of some of those opportunities. Um, but, uh, the, you know, they're in a good way. They're catching the breaks, and, and uh, I think as a collective, they're, they're, they're a strong group. Pablo. Um, in the first half, you guys did a really good job of matching up with them physically. Um, you guys did a really good job of trying to find opportunities. What was the kind of the conversation at the halftime, and what are the changes you guys wanted to make going into that second half? We wanted to do more of what we did in the first half. Um, but w again, when w goals change games, and it changes psychology, it changes momentum. Um, and and I just felt like we stopped playing after we conceded the first goal. And, you know, I, I don't know why that is, um, and that's something that we have to kind of talk through uh, this week. But again, the first half, if you, we created enough opportunities in the half to score a goal, and if you don't score goals, you're not you're not changing their psychology. They're thinking, how did we get out of that half without conceding, given that we didn't have a lot of the ball? Uh, again, th there's th really three objectives that that we wanted to achieve in this game. One, we wanted to compete the right way, and we did that in the first half. Second balls were huge, given the way they play, and they go long. The guys in the middle did a great job of, of winning those second balls. Um, and th the last thing was, we want to score a goal, right? So we achieved two of the three, and, and the last one is, is obviously the hardest and, and, and the most critical to really put teams on their heels. You know, when you're away from home and you can see that first goal, it's difficult mentally to get back in the game. And, you know, we just weren't able to find it. We're four games into this season now. Um, we're sitting out three losses and the win in Vancouver. What's kind of maybe the lessons that you guys have learned? What's maybe kind of lessons that you've learned from this team in those first four games and that you guys think you guys can just need to improve on besides the goal scoring? Oh, well, I think, again, goal scoring helps the wins and wins help the, the, the confidence of the group. You know, so it'd be, I'd be remiss not to, not to point that out and make that the part. If, 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 you, if you score, again, if you score the first goal, you have confidence and you have belief and you keep double down on what you're doing. If you concede, now you have a little bit of doubt. Um, the other thing is, as a group, we just, we, we just got to be, we just got to be stronger as a, as, as a group of 30 players. You know, I think there's been, for various reasons, the first four games, there's been a lot of chop and change with players in, players out, players gone, n not available because of Visa. Uh, Jasper's suspended in the second game. There hasn't been uh, one game where you've, we've had the whole group and been able to go, okay, this is what we have, you know, and, and tonight, obviously with those players away on international duty and all the injuries that we have currently um, didn't help that. So I think we, we, we got to get back to the basics of team, everyone playing for each other, um, especially because of the situation that we've currently confronted in the first four games. And I guess my last question is what's kind of, is there any concern or any, I guess, any worry that you guys have started the season with two losses at home? 
again, I think every game is its own event. I, I think if you can um, – listen, that's, that's very disappointing, right? Home in this league is, is, is critical. Um, but then I look at it and I go, the optimistic self says, all right, now you got to go on the road and do it. I mean, you know, there's no, there's no way to look into the future and, and see if this was a great, great thing for us to come together as a group um, and, and really rally around. Um, we don't want to feel like this. We don't want to do this for our fans. And, and, and again, I, w- I want to thank the fans for sticking around. It's not easy to stick around, you know, when your team is – um, getting beat 4-0, but even at the end, I think it was the same thing. We want a goal. We want we want we want a reason to stand on our feet and cheer. Like and so again, it all goes back to the same thing. If you can't find the back of the net, no one's going to be happy, uh, including the fans. Pablo, esto recién comienza. Tenemos muchos juegos todavía por seguir. Sientes sin quitarle el mérito a San Luis, sientes que no nos ganan si no lo perdemos. Hay un sentimiento que que que, que es, eso es la verdad que perde, perdimos el partido. Tuvimos varias oportunidades en el primer tiempo para marcar el primer gol y también los goles, los, los tres goles fueron el primer gol un tiro de esquina, el segundo gol puro comunicación resuelva la problema. El tercer gol le regalamos un pase fácil y esos son momentos cuando no hay confianza eso, esos momentos pasan pero como un grupo tenemos que fortalecer el, el grupo para pensar que ni, ni, no hicieron un gol pero tenemos la calidad tenemos 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 el plan para seguir para adelante y encontrar el, el, el gol de empate. Do you want to answer in English for them, or just if you want me to continue? Um, so the thought was... No, if I can hear okay. the next one. Okay, the other one is, if it's true, the result doesn't help, but do you agree with the debutants who have done very well? Vera, excellent technique, he doesn't get angry, he's very calm. Also, those who have been there, yes, they've done well. I think that the errors have been done by the fact that the errors have been done by the fact that the errors have been done by the fact that the Tal vez gente que no debía equivocarse para regalar prácticamente los goles, pero los debutantes han estado perfectos. ¿Eso te tranquiliza? Sí, pero para mí, eh, sí, lo, lo que iniciaron, eh, estoy contento, pero en el fútbol es un grupo y perdemos juntos y ganamos juntos. O sea, necesitamos eh, levantar el nivel del colectivo y... Y eso para mí es el, el desafío para el grupo. No es un, un jugador, porque un jugador puede tener un, un buen partido, pero si perdemos el partido, perdemos todo. Así para mí la, la concentración para esta semana es el, es el, el carácter de, 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 del, del grupo y cómo, sum, cómo sumamos eh, la, la, la mentalidad que, que vamos a ganar, que... Si un compañero no está, no está bien, ¿cómo lo levantamos? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hacemos para levantar ese jugador? Y pues, y eso es el fútbol. Gracias. The question was just in terms of the debut, such as Vera and how they've done well or the mistakes they've done. Yes, I'm happy, but in football, it's a group effort. We lose together and we win together. Um, collectively, we have to raise that effort, and that's what matters. It's not just one player and whether they do well or not. It's a collective effort and how we manage the mentality side of us winning. If one teammate is not doing well, it's how we lift them up together. Thanks. Chandler? Hi, Pablo. I just want to know what you thought of Ruiz tonight. You, you know, again, I think I think it was a fantastic first half, and it was a a tough second half, really. Um, you know, I think he he brings a lot with the ball, and I think I think in the first half, you know, like I said, him and Jasper did a great job gobbling up second balls, um, switching the point of attack, which is you know a big area of of focus for this week. Um, but in the second half, I think really him and and, and the group as a collective really. Um, couldn't find that same type of uh, drive and, 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 and execution that, that we're looking for. Awesome, thank you. Hablan 
Hablando un poco ya sobre el rival, eh, se sabía que era el equipo debutante que tenía mejor inicio. Estaban 4-0 antes del partido, 5-0 en ese momento. ¿Te sorprendió realmente lo que viste del San Luis Fútbol Club? Eh, ¿Te sorprendió cómo jugaron la agresividad que tenían? No, está, yo creo para mí este partido estamos mejor preparados para este partido porque tuvimos dos semanas. Eh, para mí sabemos que, que son un equipo fuerte, que van para adelante, que, que luchan por 90 minutos y pues como, como dije antes, no, no, no ganaron, pero también uh, hicimos unos, algunos errores que, que, que no se debe ser y, y pues ahora hay que, hay que encontrar el, la manera para, para mejorar ese momento. ¿Qué le decías también a tus jugadores en el segundo tiempo cuando la situación se estaba complicando? Eh, hubo muchos errores en la salida de balón. ¿Qué era lo que le estabas comunicando tú para que hubiera esa tranquilidad? Porque se veía en los jugadores después de cada gol que no había tranquilidad en ellos. Sí, eh, de, de la línea es eh, 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 un poco difícil porque si grita de la línea le ponen más presión a los jugadores. El problema se, se debe resolver en la cancha. Y, ese, y, y, y por eso dije, cuando un compañero no anda, eh, está en un momento mal, ¿cómo hacemos como compañero en la cancha para ayudar, para, para levantar el, el, el jugador? Porque de la línea se empiezo a gritar, le, le, le pongo más, más, más presión y eso no, no, no es una cosa que se necesita en ese momento. Uh, speaking of the rival, we knew it was a new team in the league, and now they're 5-0. Has it surprised you at all to see how they've been playing? No, I think we were the better we were better prepared for this game than the last. We knew this was a strong team, and like I said before, they won, but we did make a few mistakes that we shouldn't have made, and now we have to find a way to make things better. Um, and then the second question was, what did you say to your players at the second half when things were getting complicated? What did you, ta what did you tell your players to clear their mind? Um, that's why I said when one team has a bad moment, it's what we do collectively to lift a player because if I start yelling from the line, I'm only adding more pressure. All right, we'll finish up with one more. Hey, Pablo. <clears throat> so this game looked like a tale of two halves, really. Um, I know you've touched on the second half a little bit. I'm curious what the conversations were with the team before the game because the first half it seemed like a really solid performance. Yeah, no, again, uh, we had two weeks to prepare for this game. Uh, we knew exactly how we wanted to go about the game on both sides of the ball, and, and, and the guys executed. The only thing missing was the goal, you know, and I, and I think that's, that's been kind of our Achilles heel in the first couple games. Uh, we got to find the back of the net, and... and, and, and because goals change games, change momentum, change psychology. And I felt we did enough in that first half to find one. I think Vera at the end there had a, had a really good chance. Um, but, but, but again, I think the guys executed. Um, they were ready. Um, you know, the second half starts, and when you concede a, you know, a set-piece goal, it really deflate, it deflated the group today. And I think that's the bigger question, is why did it def deflate the group? And, and so those are conversations that we'll have, you know, in, in lieu of our next game. But, uh, but, but again, I think the guys... We're great in the first half. Pablo, uh, Brian Vera obviously gets his, his debut today with the team. Um, and from what I saw, played pretty well. Um, I'd also like to highlight Emeka and Nelly. I thought he played pretty well as well. Right back, not a, a traditional right back um, throughout most of his collegiate career. Um, I guess, how do you think kind of those guys played, in the, especially in the first half? And what is it that you can take away, if anything, from this game to carry over and, and maybe learn to be better and, and get a result in in, uh, in Columbus. Yeah, no, I think um, I think they both played well. You know, uh, as individually, they they both did um, a, a really good job. Um, you know, I think uh, Brian um, slid into center back and and was calm on the ball. Had a, had quite a few switches of of play, which is really important for us. Um, found passes between the lines, um, and it just always felt like he was he, we, we were going to build through his side. Um, defensively, I thought his positioning was good. I thought his bite was good. He had some isolated 1v1 uh, moments, in, the, in particular in the second half, and I thought he handled them really, really well. And then Emeka is a player that uh, we've had the opportunity to have since preseason, um, and he's just a really cerebral player. 
and we played him in, in four or five different positions in preseason, given all the different players coming in and out. And um, and so we've been training him there for the last few weeks and has done a really good job of, of learning that position. Um, and so he's, he's a player that uh, I think uh, will only get better with time. All right. Thank you, Pablo. Thanks, guys.